Today we're at the farmhouse. We're going to be working on a piece of furniture for us. Yes, this one is going to hide the return air duct because Jamie doesn't want to see it at any point on the floor or in the wall. You know, we have some mechanics going on in the house and Zeb's first reaction is, there's nothing you can do about it. And then I complain a little bit and then he says, well, then he came up with this idea. I found this buffet, it fits the space perfectly and I'm really excited to be working on a project for the farmhouse. To get started, we're going to be spraying milk paint. So this is the critter sprayer. I've got pantry door, Sweetie Jane, and extra bond. And I used my immersion blender to mix it up. The ratio is 50% pantry door to 50% Sweetie Jane with about a quarter of the extra bond that it calls for. I'm hoping to get some chipping, so we'll see how that goes. We've done lots of spraying with the critter sprayer, but it's been a long time. Reuse, reduce, recycle. So I've got this McDonald's cup that used to hold water and I've got my mix in here. You wanna make sure you make it just slightly more watery than you would normally make your milk paint. That way it'll go through the sprayer easily. I've already mixed up all of the paint, the bond and everything with my blender and I let it sit for about 20 minutes. That's gonna make sure that everything is nice and smooth and mixed together. Anytime you're going to spray milk paint, you must use an immersion blender to make sure it's all mixed up because otherwise you could have chunks left over. It's going to clog your gun. I'm going to go ahead and pull the screws off. We don't want to paint the leaded glass. Jamie will hand brush that. How old do you think this is? I actually didn't think it was that old. Then the dovetailing look hand done. Yeah, the only thing that's throwing it off and making it not look old is the back. It yeah. is jointed together with, it looks like machine joinery. I haven't used this in a long time, but we thought there's no time like the present to break in the garage, right? <laughs> I don't even have the sheetrock on there yet. The drywall's not up. I'm out here in the open air. It's super windy. I'm going to keep my face away, but you also might want to consider wearing a mask because you definitely don't want to be breathing this in, especially if you're in an enclosed space. This was coming from the top of the stairs and now I'm in the basement and just gonna pull this wire because this is where I've got the breaker box. All right, so the first coat is kind of streaky. Zeb was giving me a hard time about my spraying skills. But the thing with milk paint is as long as you get the whole thing covered, you can't tell if it's not spray paint where you can tell if you did a streaky job to begin with it'll all fill in nice and even i promise the beauty of a flat paint yeah that's right well i'm gonna make you a nice fun grate i'll probably cut it on the cnc machine i know but i'm just saying if you put a grate it should be the size of this bottom panel at least then i'll paint the top you paint the top panel Okay. You want me to paint the whole thing just in case? Just paint the whole thing. I mean, it's not that much extra paint. It's going to get a wet distress and I may eventually get rid of these pull parts. Now hit it. All right. So I'm, I'll hit the other side in a second. I'm going to leave these decorative pieces on the back because they match the hinges. I don't love the little dangly pulls. So I might just put a glass knob in there later. Oh my, no tape. I'm not gonna paint this inside ledge. Just gonna Pro paint tip. the top. Pro tip, don't paint inside the ledge, just go to it. It's kind of thin because I used it to spray with, but I don't feel like mixing it more paint, so. I suppose I could pop that little piece of trim holding it in there out. No, but, but then we would risk breaking that leaded glass. Yeah, I always break it more than I don't when I pop those that trim out. Usually putting it back in when you're hammering the little nails back in. It's all right. This is the inside anyways, and this is my piece. I can paint it how I want. It's true. 
I may have to do a little bit of razor blade touch up on the glass where it dripped a little, but for the most part, it's pretty neat. I'm pretty proud of myself. I could like spray this off or spray the whole inside. I'm definitely not spraying the inside of this cabinet. Nobody's gonna see it. It's gonna be full of stuff. So I'm just coming up and just painting this ledge so it's a little bit neater. All right, so the next step is distressing. I have my trusty orbital sander and I'm gonna do most of it with a sander and then I'll come back and hand sand a few spots. 220 sandpaper is really great for distressing and smoothing out paint. Just a little hand sanding to get all the detail on here. Well, it's hard to get the big sander down and all the cracks. And you can see that the paint wants to chip, so you gotta make sure the whole thing is sanded. And this part here, it's partly because I'm sanding it, but the way it's chipping off, that's because it's milk paint. All right, just putting some final touches on. Wet distress on the hardware. If you sand the hardware, sometimes it'll go all the way down to the shiny new metal, and we don't want that. What I like to do on this milk paint is I'll get one or two a little wet, get them soaking, and then I'll come back to them. Time to apply a little bit of Sweet Pickens beeswax. It's clear, goes on really nice and smooth. You can see it's really soft and it's gonna give great coverage on here and really protect this well. So just like with paint, I like to get it on here and then I'm gonna smooth it out. That way when I go to buff it, I don't have any weird spots or swirls or anything in the finish. Okay, so I'm gonna clear wax Hi. in here. I actually cheated, I already white waxed a little, but when you use the beeswax, a little goes a long way. Now that I beeswax that area, I'm coming back with white wax, just on the detail. It wouldn't be a piece for my house if it didn't have a little bit of white wax. You might notice I'm using a uh, JRV stencil brush. It's the perfect brush to do detail waxing so you don't waste so much wax and you just kind of get it where you want it. These screws are so small, I'm having to use a chisel to put the screws back on. They probably make a small screwdriver, you just don't. Oh yeah, I just don't have one here. I've got just standard stuff <laughs> here at the farmhouse for doing electrical and things. Well, we're kind of doing things out of order. Let's paint some furniture before the walls are even in. Well, you know, you found the furniture, so we got to get it done. Yeah. And then once we get the shiplap in, we can get this in. Hopefully the shiplap can start going in next week. I plan on having it ready for the inspector by tomorrow. Nice. 
All right, I like to do section at a time and then rub it back. And then the white just kind of stays down in the cracks. The weather's acting up, so I am white waxing very, very fast. Well, we just waxed it and the wind's picking up. It's blowing like dust and leaves and seeds and stuff it's adding into, into the wax. So to carry this, I lift one side for Jamie to grab because she can't quite squat it. Hey now. Move out of the way, boys. Okay. Yeah, watch out for the bullet underneath. Okay. It's like an optical course. Yep. And then I'm wearing my carbon socks. That makes so this is going to be where it's going to live. You got to imagine shiplap going up over here. There's a wall that will come up to the side of the fridge and hide it's a, the fridge. It's a faux wall. Yeah. Mostly just to hide the fact that I bought the largest fridge and freezer possible and I didn't realize, oh, that's kind of big. So we're going <laughs> to cover it up a little bit. The return air vent Zeb showed you earlier is below. And so Zeb is going to modify this by removing at least half of the panel on the side with a pretty grill that we will paint to match and then return air vent goes through there covered and this is going to be our dining room so this is the perfect piece to put in here storage for the china i don't own probably board games will go in the bottom something cool up top maybe so, some big candlesticks or something something awesome and then like four nice plates inside that we never use make sure you guys hit up jamierayvintage.com if you want to get paint and products like we use today zeb will put all of the products we use in the description box be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And don't worry, this is going to get buffed tomorrow and then it's gonna get a furniture blanket and a tarp and a lot of tape. And a lot of tape. And a lot of tape to hold it on. Seven days of eternity, seven days in another country.